Santi Ponce. We traveled to, to visit this place after seeing some images of the theater and of the archaeological site. Unfortunately, it's being restored right now. What luck we have. I hope the Italica uh, archaeological site is still open for visits. And this, it's just a shame because it's probably super, super cool. It's a very high amphitheater and it looks in pretty good condition for a Roman uh, theater. Well, let's continue. See what else there is in Santi Ponte. I hope I'm not slaughtering this pronunciation. supposed to be a vantage point to look at the theater. I can see the highway very well, but no theater. So many kilometers for this. It's sad to look at the amount of trash I understand that it's being reconstructed, but still, disappointing. It's uh, a bit sad that it looks abandoned and not taken care of. I, I see a lot of trash everywhere, buildings are kind of abandoned. It's strange. I guess maybe because Sevilla is just next to this town, it kind of lost the, the importance and the I don't know, value. Investment? Investment. Me gusta tapas. Do you like? ¿Qué pasa? Cariño. ¿Qué Me quieres? Gusta tapas. Capiñas. Papiñas. Papiñas. chuta, papiñas. Con mucho mimo o poco mimo. Papá mía, bobia, papá. Oh, papá joda. Porque nosotros hablamos muy buen español. Nos vamos a comer papá joda. So where are we going? Mm -hmm. We're going to an uh, archaeological site of Italica. Italica was the first Roman city founded in, this, in Spain. Are you reading or do you know that? Mm, kind of both. <laughs> no, no, I was reading. I'm more like Rayman. Why I'm running and running. It's hard to imagine it's been standing here for so long. Uh, it says that it fit like 25,000 people in this amphitheater. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of people. It's, you can see the effects of time, but it's, it's still here. Incredible. I'm done being a down. I think I'll make satire instead. I'll blindly throw around every ugly word in my head. We have, we have super seats in no, the red, like first place. Do you want to check? We just read in the entrance that, in fact, this theater was used for gladiators. And as they say, gladiators and beasts, well, animals, actually, probably. And they would. They entered the arena through this uh, hole in the middle, so there were probably some levers or some system to pull them into the arena, which it's quite sophisticated. But with 25,000 people, it's, it's quite spectacular that they built a, a theater like this. It looks so cool, ruins. Ah. I almost forgot, they also shot one scene of Game of Thrones, so for people that are fans, there you go. 
Game of Thrones. We do our best to entertain a kid in a place like this. But really, there's only so much you can do until he's bored to death. Our son is getting a bit restless. He's a bit tired of checking out archaeological sites. It's not his favorite thing. But we're almost in the end. This is the ruins of the old city. You can kind of guess the layout, although I would say most of it was destroyed or it's under the modern day Santi Pons uh, city. It's kind of nice to, to look around, although arid and the sun is hitting you <laughs> right from up. So we'll just tour around the remains of the old town and go on our merry way. So, public bathroom from this Roman city of Italica. And, and I complain about toilets nowadays. I can't imagine four people touching their collective asses while they poop. Oh my God. <laughs> that wouldn't work. <laughs> 